Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about file structures and in particular file structures for game assets. So this is when your game assets not in your game, it's kind of in your source kind of assets folder. So I'm going to be talking in particular just about the assets folder and how you can organize it to make your life a little bit easier in the future. And if someone come else comes along to your game project, it makes their life a lot easier too. So first of all what we have here is this assets in like a main assets folder you could have categories and stuff but for now i just got it in the game assets folder so i've got this lamp asset right here so everything that's needed for that asset is stored within there so if i go ahead and click on this you can see when i open it up i have two folders in here now i have lamp source and have lamp asset the lamp asset folder is basically what I put into the game engine. I could just drag this folder and keep it has everything it needs and nothing more. So this is basically the finalized, done, everything's finished, exported stuff. All goes into this folder. That means makes it really easy for you or someone else to just dump it into the game engine. So that's that folder. If we come back out here to the lamp assets folder and I come down to this lamp source folder, um, you can see here that in here we have multiple things so a couple of things here which are optional is this readme you can if you want add a little text document put any information that the person opening this might need to know or you might need to know in the future that's kind of optional here i do have this as well this is just to try and kind of help me with actual sizes i made this so you can do stuff like that if you like um, also optional is a, a reference folder this is kind of has all the references for um the what you're making uh definitely useful if you think it might need to be changed in the future um it's a good idea to keep these with them if possible so if we come back out here you can see we also have the screenshot folder this is what i'd also consider optional i do keep this just so you can keep a record of how it looks and you can show that to people or all kinds of reasons you might want to keep screenshots um so that's great now a couple of folders which i really don't think are optional you kind of need them which is the source mesh and the source textures so if we go into the source mesh folder you'll see i have version one here and version two so if i go into version one you can see here that we have some blend files of the lamp asset so the source mesh is kind of where you keep all of the the dot blends or if you're in a different software that would be um i'm not sure what uh, 3D with Max or Maya's uh, file formats are but basically you want to keep every bit of information like the raw file before it's exported or anything so you want to keep that in there and if, you if I come back out what I've done is if any major version any major changes you do make that into another version and the reason you do that is it's really really great to have a backup because I've had this before where you you do something let's say you bake it you apply all the modifiers and then you can't change anything major and it's kind of stuck there so like if you were going to apply like a mirror modifier and a bunch of modifiers that will kind of be destructive make another version so that you have the version before that and then you have the version after that so make a version every like major change that you don't think you can roll back so that's what i do and it's really helpful so you can see i have two versions here so a little bit different if we come out back out here to the lamp source you can also see we have the source textures so what's in here is the um this would be dot psds dot um whatever is like the source for the texture in this case i was using substance painter for this asset so it's a dot substance painter file format um and this really helps as well because if let's say you're working in a team environment and they want you to change something you want to be able to change that or in the future you might have this for a game or something and you might want to change it or you're making a different game you're using the same asset you might want to change that to be more of a i don't know like more of a dirty dark or something like that asset where it's like it's got like grime and grunge on it so having the actual source files really does help so you don't have to remake stuff you never want to go through that and with this folder as well you want to do the same thing as with the lamp asset any major changes you make you want to make a version this helps a lot because then you can go back definitely helps a lot so that is how i do my folder structures um 
I think it's a really good way to lay out your folders and it also really helps to if you need to make any changes or just you're trying to find a particular version of the asset or something this really helps to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to your game assets so this is what I do um, you can do it your own ways but I just kind of wanted to give you a baseline which you could start with and then you can kind of tweak it to your workflow but that is the tutorial hope you liked have a great day See you later.